Hello class and welcome to our study of the material monus. So in our previous presentation we learned about the two different schools of thought of early Greek metaphysics or cosmology, the naturalist school and the supernaturalist school. And we also talked a bit about the different subschools that belong to these, um, these major schools. Now, uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to focus our attention upon material monism under the naturalist school of thought. So material monism is the philosophical theory that reality is comprised of a single material substance and only one material substance. In other words, material monists argue that everything in the world, humans, trees, rocks, and cats, for example, that they are comprised of one material substance. That is, yes, humans, rocks, and cats all look and feel different, but these things are just different manifestations of that one material substance. So, for example, Thales of Miletus, who is often considered to be the first philosopher, argue that everything in the world is made up of one material substance, water. So, according to Thales, in the beginning, there was water, and it was water that formed the world. How so? Well, Thales observed that water has the ability to change form. So, water can manifest itself in liquid form. When it is frozen, it manifests itself in a kind of ice form. And when it is evaporated, it manifests itself as some kind of a gas. So for Thales of Miletus, it is possible that all of life derived from water because he observed that water can change form. And because water is necessary for life, it is only logical that water is the ultimate substance of reality. Now, the philosopher Anaximenes, who was a contemporary of Thales, does agree with Thales that, yes, there is one ultimate substance that comprises reality, but he disagrees as to what it is. Rather than water, Anaximenes argues that the single substance that was there in the beginning that gave rise to the world is air. And the philosopher Heraclitus also agrees that there is one ultimate substance that comprises reality. But for Heraclitus, in the beginning there was fire, and all of reality has its origins in fire. So in conclusion, the material monists all argue that reality is comprised of a single material substance. And they made this claim because they observed that material things have the ability to change form. However, they each disagreed about what the ultimate material substance is, whether it is water, air, or fire.